what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so as you see here on the screen we have new images of the creeper truck this image that you see here is actually of the creeper truck of in jeepers creepers were born uh jeepers creepers 4 and this is the individual the individual posing with it is actually apparently the stunt driver that's going to be working on the film uh just the person driving the truck here's another image of him in costume i guess this is what the creeper will be wearing reminiscent of the outfit i guess the creeper is going to be wearing in the film and i'll leave a link to this individual's instagram page in my in my description of this video uh so he, those are your new images of the creeper truck and this is the stunt driver who will be driving the truck i guess for those important scenes that involve driving uh and since we know there's going to be a crash sequence that got shot who knows again whether or not it'll be featured in the film but we know there's a crash sequence that'll happen so of course you would need a stunt driver for something like that usually so the other thing that i wanted to talk about was what's going on with the imdb page in the trivia section and talk about some details of it now the imdb imdb trivia page it can be updated by anyone uh, just like Wikipedia, anything on IMDb can be updated by anyone, just like Wikipedia. Now, the only difference is I think there's a lot of, a lot of mods on IMDb that are always looking to fact check this stuff to make sure it stays a hundred percent accurate, not a hundred percent accurate, but be as reliable as it can. Some of the things that are in the trivia page where Jeepers Creepers are born, they're just very interesting to me and they stand out such as the fact that we know that this movie is going to be set at the horror hound festival that's coming to louisiana now we still don't know if the creeper will be traveling to louisiana or if they're going to be saying that the whole time we were in louisiana and that's where pole county is and that's where all those other counties are located at because while we know that the film was shot in florida for the first film nowhere in the film does it actually state that yeah we're in florida it doesn't state that they can put this in louisiana if they want to or maybe the creeper actually will travel out to louisiana but we know that we'll be going to the horror hound festival at this film or in this film and that the creeper will terrorize him. we know we're following a couple chase and lane we know lane is going to have premonitions tied to the town's past and the urban legend the myth the creeper and of course something will end up happening to lane and then chase will spin the movie trying to save his girlfriend that's exactly what's going to happen so what is interesting on the imdb page where it talks about the name horror hound the name of the convention that'll be in the center of this film this is apparently a joke about the creeper who stalks and catches his prey using his keen sense of smell similar to that of a hunting dog so that's a little interesting tidbit on the trivia page from imdb imdb the other thing is apparently in this new film for the new design the creeper has scars on his chest this will be in reference to the harpoon shots he received in jeepers creepers 2. now my only thing is this if this creature monster whatever again can regenerate body parts why is he regenerating body parts with scars again we don't know all the details and the anatomy of this thing but i just don't jack taggart senior must have done some absolute damage to this thing if it's regenerating parts with scars on its chest that doesn't mean that it's not impossible for this thing to do that i just don't get it why is that happening if it eats limbs to regenerate its body parts shouldn't those scars disappear shouldn't the scars not even be a thing so again jack senior must have done something to the anatomy and altered something where this creep where this monster the creeper is while he's going to be able to regenerate body parts his chest is going to have scars on it i that would be a cool detail i just don't i don't think that makes a lot of sense given what we know about the monster and the way that it works but then again there's a lot of inconsistencies with it anyway since we haven't really gotten any answers as to what it is at all there are a lot of inconsistencies with with this monster and how it operates anyway but i guess i can overlook something as small and insignificant as chest wounds or ch scars on his chest but whatever apparently the new design will have scars on his chest so we'll see how that ends up looking like when the film comes out the other thing that I wanted to talk about was people who are worried about 
aspects of Jeepers Creepers 3 being factored in. Now, as far as I can tell, and from what the artist who has been sending a lot of details, not a lot of details, but just sharing details with people who reach out to them, uh, this person has been sharing details about the film not really spoilers or anything big but they have just been saying things of, of along the lines of that they tried to take the best elements of one and two and this is what is being contributed into this film so there's really no mentioning of three in that regard there so it makes me wonder how much of three how much of three's influence will even play a factor here or are they going to retcon and ignore that film not necessarily retcon but at like it, well, not retcon, but just barely bring up any significant details about it. They're mostly going to bring up the details about one and two. So in that regard, I think that would kind of be retconning. But at the same time, it's not <laughs> because they don't have to mention things about what happened in between like that. Because what happened in Jeepers Creepers 3 was just so insignificant in the grand scheme of things. They don't really need to mention anything anyway. So you're kind of retconning it either way. Whether you mention, whether you decide to mention something small or not, you're kind of forced into a position where you can retcon this film because it's so insignificant compared to the first two films. So judging what that person is saying to other people, I guess 3's influence is going to be very small. It probably won't have anything to do with what goes on in the fourth film. The other thing was going back to D. Wallace. D. Wallace apparently is 100% in this film because this same individual is saying that they were very disappointed that they did not get to work with this actress because apparently this is a scene that was shot in Louisiana. This goes back to Brad Rushing, who we know was one of the directors of photography for this film. He worked on the first 10 minutes of the film and he has stated that there are some fan favorites involved with this film. Now, the first 10 minutes is most likely what he's... This is most likely, again, backing up that this is where Dee Wallace's character will come into play. She's playing one half of this old couple who will stumble along the creeper after they leave church. Because, again, remember I made that video talking about the, an old couple is going to leave church. And then while they're driving home from church on Sunday... They're going to get uh, run off the road or terrorized on the road by someone with an old rusty pickup truck. And then they come across him at this farmhouse where they find unspeakable horrors in it. And then they are never seen or heard from again. So that only reinforces it because one of the artists that worked on the film, they're stating that they're very disappointed because they never got to meet her because she was a part of the Louisiana crew. So D. Wallace is going to be in this film more and more likely. That's that's a 100 percent confirmation right there. So let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.